Hello and welcome back once again to Let's Play Overlord. In the last video, I was going to gather up a bunch of life force in the dungeon and told you I was going to off screen that. A few things happened a little differently than I would have hoped for off screen, but we do at least have the life force to forge the unique item. Uh, if you'll notice, my brown minion count is up a decent bit, my green minion count is up a decent bit, and so is the blue. The reds proved to be a little too tough. I was not able to take them out in the dungeon. To be able to beat the blues in the dungeon, I actually had to switch to a group of all blues and let them fight much like they fought them inside the, the cavern where we got the blue minions. The browns I did not even have as an option in the dungeon, so I actually went out into the mellow hills and farmed a bunch of the sheep. In the process, I did stumble across where Bob is back at his farm and saw what he gives us. Luckily, there wasn't any kind of cutscene or anything that I would have triggered, so I will be able to go right back there and show you exactly what I saw. I went through it two or three times in the process of collecting some life force from the sheep, so I know he does keep saying the same thing. And so now we have this unique axe, and I'll be very curious to see how good it actually does. And I'm going to go ahead and go to Bob's farm and show you that. So all I did to collect the brown life force was as I would kill all of the sheep here. Since I'm already in the area, I'm going to go ahead and do it again just to build that total up even a little more. And after getting the ones here, the shortest way I know to get to where the others are that are in this zone was right down here through Bob's farm. And you'll notice there are a lot of extra boxes and barrels here. Are yours, Lord. T take them! Take them! That's a mighty fine looking army you've got there! And those are the only two comments I ever heard from him while I was coming through here. You'll also notice just how much equipment is still laying out there. That's after all of my people have picked up whatever little bit they could this time. My minions are without a doubt the best equipped that I have had them in all of the videos I've done. So, it's actually a very good little advantage they give you for having saved him. Uh, because I don't think that a lot of the equipment they have now would even really be available to me at this point in the game. Uh, I do not think that even if I had been making sure to keep them as equipped as I could, if they would be as well equipped as they are now. And so that's all I really did to gain life force. And now I'm going to go ahead and go back over into Evernight Forest. The only reason we stopped going through it a few videos back was that I wanted to go ahead and go and get the blues. I do think you're supposed to go through it before you go into Heaven's Peak. Uh, you don't necessarily have to finish it first. But... You choose all! So now we're going to continue on and do the rest of the forest here. I do know we're going to have to be able to deal with poison, so I'm going to send a couple of my browns back. And pull out a couple of greens in their place. I am pretty sure that I did destroy the root node that's over near where you get the greens. 
I'm going to go over and check just to be sure. And it does appear that we did. It would have been right over there straight in front of me where those beetles are. Also, now that we have blues, if we want, we could start attacking the ghostly elves that are in the area. They do give you blue life force. Elves, they're so depressing. Pull yourself together, man. There is one of the steps that you have to do to get full corruption is to kill so many elves to get a title of Slayer of Elves, something like that. But these do not count towards that. We'll actually have some elves that are still alive in another area we'll get to later. And those are the ones you have to kill for that. You can kill as many of these as you want without any fear of getting any corruption. For you. With how easy these enemies were before, they're of course going to be very, very easy with us having a group of minions that actually have some decent equipment. And the root that we destroyed last time we were here in the forest is the one that had this tower object sealed off. So now we can go ahead and get it back to the tower. It looks like it is a new spell. And this is the fourth type of spell. This is the one that we have not gotten any version of yet. So the four types are that you have the offensive spell. We started with the fireball. There are the ones that help your minions. We've got the first level of it. I think it was called anger or something like that. The ones that weaken your enemy. We got slow is the first level of it. And then this is a shield spell. This is actually to protect the Overlord himself. And in some of the later versions, it'll actually give an area effect kind of attack around yourself to where anything that is actually coming directly after you, not only will you be protected from them, but it will actually damage them also. The shield spell will help you, well, shield yourself from oncoming enemies. It's got a bit of a kick to it, too, which will send them flying. So it appears that even the first level of it at least has a knockback effect to it. I, I honestly don't know that I have ever used it, so I did not remember that it could do that. Greens! Now that we have our greens, we can go through this area over here. <laughs> 